What happened to the Red Cross? Oh, sweet. Skeletor's in this one. Emerson Film Corporation. Producing junk since 1931. Wanted for murder. Six beliefs. And this is my war on beliefs. Two. Huh? Five. Oh, this must be the new math of 1955. Six. Pick up sticks. These public... These Pokemon? Their ideas and beliefs. Murderous beliefs which can lead to tragedy. Or children. These beliefs kill more than 80,000 people each year. Sounds Not like it's slacking off to me. Football stadium. Every year, there are millions of people badly hurt, many of them crippled. Mainly while marching in the band. All these beliefs may be about to murder you. Oh, so say it ain't so, Joe. Do you believe I'm gonna fart on you. I'm gonna situation? fart on you. Huh. They play like the Vikings. Stretched out down there on the field after that pile up. I thought you hurt real bad. Thought I almost yeah, lost my lover there. Worse, uh, you're pretty lucky. I think it's so. Yeah. Well, we'll this was too exciting. We gotta go take volume now. Jim, how's the shoulder? Pretty good, thanks. Can I play nurse with you, Jim? Coach told me you didn't want to take time to get a new shoulder pads when you're. Now you guys are speaking in fragments. Take time out just to play safe. Well, safety is a pretty important thing too. Damn it, Jim! I love you. But I didn't want the other fellows to think I'm a sissy. Well, you proved your point. But I wonder if the price you paid was worth it. By the way, we're having a meeting of the aviation club. I want to see you in my jumpsuit. Test pilot come out to give us a talk. Are you going to be there? Sure will. I think you'll find it enlightening. Who was that weirdo? Whatever. Oh. This is a test pilot's home movies when he was flying over Cambodia. Do a barrel roll! Well, you knew that one was coming. You fly just like your father, Fox. Oh man, look out for that scarecrow on the runway. Is that a plane or the Batwing? Well, now that you've all seen that, I have to kill you if word gets out. Isn't it terribly dangerous? Well, what are you doing in here, little lady? But every precaution is taken to see that the aircraft is fit. And the pilots always try and meet any emergency that may come up. That's why I wear two pilots pairs of underwear. Parachutes, do they? We certainly do. One in front and one in back. So Definitely to block the off the urine stains. Well, I thought you guys were supposed to be really brave and... Whoa there, young fella. That ain't me, I buddy. One thing. There's a big difference between bravery and foolhardiness. But I can't remember it. That's why I'm reading it to you now. Shoots. But I'll wear or use anything. It'll make my job safer. Including Thank condoms. All pilots. We're not cowards, but we're not fools either. But we play some on TV. A dangerous job to do. And the safer we play it, the better we can That's do why it. we do the safety dance before every flight. Don't be foolish. Wait a minute, does Skeletor have safety a beard there? For everybody. Stop being a victim of Quit being so dumb. Safety is for sissies. Be a sissy! It's a murderous belief. This belief can kill... What, you throwing food. dice at her? Do you believe That's just cheating, man. When your number is up? 23, 23, 23. Feet, or just because that's the way the ball bounces. But what if it's a football? One of these girls is guilty of this murderous I think belief. it's the mannequin. Judy, this is just what I've been looking for, except in pale blue. If they have it in the right color, I think is I'll try it out. face trying to Maybe bust out of her skin? Some other time. It's getting late and driving home in rush hour is no fun. Don't I hate living too. in the suburbs. Don't be silly, we'll be all right. If your number's up, you'll get hit. And if it isn't, you What kind of logic is that, woman? Isn't that Bob Prentice across the street? Oh, yes, it is. Maybe you want Cute to boy, home. let's go. My hormones are all on Twitter. Hey, cute boy. Jesus Christ, is the street right at the end of the steps? I'll never get that dress back. Foolish belief in fate cost her her life. She didn't get killed because her number was up. It was the city bus that did it. Killed her. Remember, being horny can kill you. Do you believe? Oh look, Skeletor in his boot camp. Of averages. Do you believe that a mathematical chance is more important than what you do, and actually determines whether or not you have an accident? Well, isn't that what they do in baseball? 
Looks interesting, Dad. What's it going to be? Well, these are it's going to be a new son, because I don't like you. Book out there, Billy. They've all got to be the same size, so we'll line them up and saw them off together. Can I try it? Well, That's well, about you stupid. Some with hand tools first, then you can try the power tools. I'll be careful. Yeah. I know how to run my power tool, Dad. Most of them get hurt trying to do it themselves before they know how. I just saw some figures on that in my math class. You just you saw some fingers? Are you being punny right now? An accident. The law of averages is with me. I won't get hurt. Let me try. Just like the law of averages say, I'll never act in another thing again. Yeah, let dear old dad fuck up for you. Oh, we don't need it for this, Bill. That law of averages you talk about will take care of me. I trust you because you learned the new math. There's your law of averages for you. I just lost an average of ten layers of skin on that one. This belief doesn't take care of anything or anyone. Except maybe the Vegas odds. Who believe in the law of averages pay the price through carelessness. Bill's carelessness cost him just a hurt hand this time. And but massive splinters. The can be murder. You know what? No one's really died so far. Mind. Except that girl. This belief can lead to murder too. So I said to her, I'm the king of my own castle. An excuse for their own laziness. Just because I'm a skeleton doesn't mean... I can't do things. Do you believe accidents are part of the price of progress? Sure, we all do. Hi, I'm Skip Buffbody. Now you won't have to go over to the table to turn the radio off and on. This remote control switch will let you do it right from the sink. Say, the hell that sounds incredibly lazy and dumb. Yes, sir. I just took the wires, bypassed the switch in the radio, and hooked them into this switch. Oh, that sounds like a recipe well, for disaster. It's to have an electrician in the house to keep us up on the latest scientific advancements. Thanks, Wilma. See how your little works. <laughs> well, the entire house went black, and she might be dead. Are you all right, dear? Yes, I guess so. But it was quite a All shock. this modern technology yeah, just sorry, blew yeah. my brains out. Made sure everything was properly insulated and grounded. Yeah, in other words, you should have done it first, dumbass. Nonsense. If you had been careful and done the job right in the first place, this wouldn't have happened. Well, your mother might have been seriously hurt. And the price of progress is no excuse. Next time, use more amperage, you moron. Don't blame your carelessness on the price of progress. Oh, I'm so beautiful and I'm so drunk. The death rate and tuberculosis. And is on the way to the conquest of cancer. Yeah, good luck with that. Progress has given you all that you see around you in the way of comfort. Amazing what this little white box can do. The same attention to safety that we give to progress. Yeah, we'll never cured more traffic. With more safety. Don't blame accidents on progress. And then I said, the real hey, lies with you. you look pretty and hot, you Mr. Scientist. And put this belief out of your mind, Hey, too. baby, you want my accidents hot dog? What's happened to the other fellow? Do you believe they do? Wait a minute. Are we really going to go over this? I just had a big lunch about a Sailor night. Moon! This sure tastes good. Mmm. I had a big lunch, too. But I can always force down something good. I but bet I you can, can girly. I just finished most of my Heineken. Okay, Let's go. We've been practicing. Not me. I'm too full. And you'd better wait a and while, I'm too. I'm kind of drowsy Stop right now. Stop water so soon after eating. Might get a cramp. Oh, oh nonsense. It's not my period I'm right now. Head. That's something that always happens to someone else, not to me. Cramps are for sissies! Sad thing is, it's not the swimming that's gonna kill her, it's the fact she just jumped into an empty pool. Two seconds in, she's already drowning? No, he doesn't have enough abs to do this. Marilyn was lucky. She knows someone now who's had a cramp while... <laughs> and she can make oh, fun of her the rest of her life. Pain. So you still want my hot dog, baby? I'm newly single. And you're hot. Put it out of your mind. It can be a killer. Do you think you're lucky like this guy? Well, do you, punk? Breeze through the four-way stop of that intersection? You jerk! If the car hadn't stopped, the driver's luck would end right there. Smart passenger. He's getting out. I'm through right here, Harry. What are you scared of, Johnny? Well, it's Here's November, the top is down, and it's scared. fucking cold! Stop sign back there? Sure, I saw it, but the other car was stopped. So why should I? Yeah, I like games of chicken. Figured the same way. He could have plowed right into you. Not me, Johnny. I don't like T-bone steaks that much. 
and be sure I get where I'm going. No more racing trains to crossings or going through stop signs for me. Well, Harry sounds like a hoot. Johnny's words aren't making any impression on Harry. In fact, Harry's trying to go back in time. That speedometer dial. Uh oh, there's a dangerous curve warning up ahead. Look out, Harry. That curve's sharper than you think. Yeah, you might not make it on two lanes of a one-way. It's too late, Harry. I saw how fast you were going. Lucky is another name. Room, room. I love my Hot Wheels. Anytime you believe you feel lucky. Look out for murder. Or Dirty Harry. It can happen to you. Unless you take these six beliefs and, and shovel them out of your mind and out of your life. And if they don't kill you, One I sure damn will. Six beliefs. The belief that safety is for sissies. For lunkheads. That no matter what you do. For horny teenage girls. The for guys named Earl. Some dream called the damn it, Jerry! Bridges. The belief that accidents and dead the mothers of progress. The belief that and rubber mannequins the other fellow. And the belief that an accident can't happen to you. I already saw your speed limit, dude. It's lucky. over. It's over, Johnny. What can these six murderous beliefs promise you except a moment of carelessness followed by tragedy? Or Don't even bother getting out of your damn house. Your and out of your mind. You'll live longer. If you stay under your bed and suck on your damn thumb.